are super blessed. I'm super happy to have a very great friend, a covenant brother, a man who has a very large heart. And I'm not saying this, you know, I, I don't... Uh, uh, we've been here together in this ministry, serving in this place under our father, Reverend David. He is the pastor, the senior pastor of Dominion City, Orca. Let's come. Pastor Jude Obiekwe. Come on, keep clapping, keep clapping. say anything, I want to thank the Lord for giving me the privilege of being here. Um, even me. Since Tuesday, I've been following you. Since Tuesday, my own limitation has been removed. How can it be there? I watched yesterday. I watched on Tuesday. I was not asking God, are you sure I should be attending, not, not preach? I want to especially honor you, Pastor O.K. Thank you, sir. 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 You, you, you know, you call me your brother. Uh, that's a humble way of saying it. That's my ogre. That's the governor of Anambra State, actually. Yes, that's the governor of Anambra State. Uh, uh, Soludo should not bother. He's not, we are not competing with him. Our own dominion doesn't have doesn't last for four days, four years. He said, he said you are you are priests forever after the order of Melchizedek. Then they, are, they don't do election for us. This is the governor of Anambra State. I, I, I like the way you pastor me, sir. You know, since I met him, my life has changed. One of the things he inspired me, I don't believe in traveling abroad before. I don't believe in it. I tell him, he's him who, at least I've, 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 I've started. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you for being an encouragement. Thank you. Can we appreciate Pastor Okay one more time, please? He, uh, when they introduce him, they say they introduce him as the pastor of Dominion City on Asia. That is modesty. Uh, he's the pastor of Dominion City, Anambra State. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And I'm glad to be, be by your side, sir. I'm glad to be by your side. But you know where there is a great man? There is somebody standing beside him. Mm, I hope you know that. <laughs> My God. My God. Madam, I came here for, for what do you call it? Discipleship Summit. My own prayer life changed. Ah, it has to change. It has to change. Oh. Thank you, man. Can we appreciate God for Pastor Rafael? Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. You know. I walked into the room where they uh, lodged me. I was wondering whether the Ofala, Ofala has moved into my room. I was wondering what's going on here. Are they doing another offer? Are they trying to crown me the king of uh, Onisha or what? Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you, ma. I appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I was born here. I was telling her I was born in Oka Road General Hospital. That's where. That's the first place I landed. I opened this my eyes. Mm. So, Onisha, I have a, 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 a soft spot for Onisha. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Ma, for, for being, being 
a, a, a help to my brother. You can see his face is shining. He's not stressed. I can tell that. Very fresh. Very fresh. I prophesy to you. You are going to have such help in your life in the name of Jesus. I, I am coming. I am coming. Please. And also want to appreciate all the senior pastors, all the helpers, all the men that are making everything possible. God bless you guys. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And of course, the most powerful choir, East of Niger. My God. My God. My God. And um, <laughs> of course, I salute people the way God sees them. So, His Excellency, High Excellency, I am privileged to stand before you. It's my own privilege, it's my own honor to stand before King, to stand before kings and princesses. Hallelujah. Somebody asked me, why do you greet them like this? I said, men, and above all, and brother, men bow to kings that men crown how much more the kings that God crowned? How much more the king that God crowned? Now, turn to your neighbor and salute them just the way I did. Now, finally, to the king of kings, to the lord of lords, to the author and finisher of our faith, the King Eternal, the Almighty God of Jacob, the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the author and finish of my faith. I bless you, my Lord. I worship you. I welcome you in this place. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and have your way as you behold the threatenings of our enemies. Grant unto thy servant that with all boldness we might speak thy word by stretching forth the hand to heal that signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy child Jesus. Spirit of grace, I welcome you. Spirit of truth, I welcome you. Most high God of heaven. Most high. If you are sitting, please stand. Even if, if you are a child, stand. Most high, King of nations.
the bread of life, I welcome you. Come and quench my tastes. I'm tasty for your glory. I'm tasty for your glory. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Please, you will join me and appreciate our father, my father, for giving us men like this man. Let's celebrate the P himself. Let's celebrate the P himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Glory! Glory! <laughs> hey. He said, when you gather and my spirit is with you, he said, do as occasions have you. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, there are two people I was told to talk to before I start. One of you, you had a dream yesterday night. We are trying to rush out of water that was drowning you, but you have been pulled back. If you are here, rush to the altar. Number two, there is a spirit, somebody under this spell. You are coming for the first time today. You did, we are not here yesterday. You are coming for the first time today. There is this spirit of death. You know it's following you. You know he's following you. When you were told about this meeting, you decided to come because of that. If you can come to the altar now, we will sort you out and then we move. Somebody be behind her. What is your name, ma'am? Second person. Olga. That guy is a man. The second person is a guy. Boka. Tefa. Stay behind him. Now, remove your slippers. You will not die, but you will live to declare the works of the Lord. Avoto Poyaka. Damiasa. Kavoto. The blood of Jesus wipes the record upon which the enemy is accusing you, accusing your family. That's where they are coming from. But by the blood of the everlasting covenant, that blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, we wipe away the, the, the evidence of the accuser in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and bless him. Woo! Ha. Father, we command, just like Pastor Oke has declared, this whole atmosphere to be saturated with angels. You spirit of destruction, we bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of slumber, we bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. We activate the spirit of transformation, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Madam that came out, um, somebody should get her number. Um, you know, she needs to be led to Christ or rededicate her life to Christ. Okay. Good evening. I'm a teacher by calling. I'm not a prophet. I'm, I, I only, I'm just a son of one. I, 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 I peep inside, you know, I, I just peep. Amen. I'm not a prophet. I'm a teacher. So you go get out your pen and paper. In Jesus' name. Okay. 
Meanwhile, welcome to No Limitation Conference 2024. Somebody celebrate Jesus. The first thing the Lord told me, there are 14 things he told me to do this night. 14. Um, the first one is a prophetic word he gave me to give you. It's Isaiah chapter 54. I know Pastor Okay has shared Isaiah 54 from verse 1 to around 5. I'll take it from 6. Thank you for this one. Sing, O Baron. You need to be singing, oh, because God is about to change your life. God is about to change your life in the name of Jesus. But from verse 6, let me talk to somebody just quickly. For the Lord has called thee as a woman, forsake you. That's what you look like. Grieved in the spirit. A wife of youth. When thou was refused, says the Lord. You have believed God for next level. You have seen others transit from one level to another. You've seen your life look as if you are stagnated. Ladies and gentlemen, if that describes you, you are in the right place. Verse 7. For a small moment, I, for, I have, for a small moment, have I forsaken thee? Just a small moment. Uh, the problem with that small moment is a small moment with God, and it can be 40 years old. So I, I, even though it's a small moment, I don't like it. Hello? For a small moment, have I forsaken thee? But read the next thing. But with great mercies will I gather thee. Great mercy is locating somebody. In this no limitation conference, mercy will be the, the greatest factor for you. Mercy will speak for you in the name of Jesus. Even where the enemy has evidence against you, why you should not, why you should be limited, mercy will say no limitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God. Say, with great mercies have I gathered it. Verse 8. In a little rot, I hid my face from thee for a moment. But one to go, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. With everlasting kindness, with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, says the Lord thy Redeemer. Verse 9. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so, okay, so have I sworn that I would not be wrought with thee nor rebuke thee. God is on your side. God is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Nobody. That's the prophetic word he gave me to give you. Yes, verse 10. One, two, go. For the mountain shall depart and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, said the Lord, that have mercy on thee. When mercy speaks, even where you are not qualified, you are qualif mercy qualifies you. There's a song that says, Mercy says yes, I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you sleep away. You're not be afraid. Help me. Mercy says no. Sin will never take control. Sin will not take control. Even if you committed it, God will say the sin will not be able to stop you. Can I hear you say big amen? amen. Thank you. Verse 11. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones in fair colors. Hey, somebody is about to be decorated. 2024, this Christmas, some people will not recognize you again. Your family members will not recognize you again. 
between this October and Christmas, people wonder what happened to you in two months. In the name of Jesus Christ. And lay thy foundations with what? With sapphire. Sapphire is unshakable. Unshakable. Verse 12. And I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of what? Cacombos. And all thy borders of pleasant what? Stones. Verse 13. But watch. Stop there. Stop there. Did you get that one? Did you get all those ones? Did you like it? Uh -huh. You see all these things he said? It's true. But he said the key is in verse 13 and 14. I read one to go. All thy children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of thy children. Verse 14. In righteousness shall thou be thou shall be far from oppression for thou shall not fear and from terror for it shall not come near you. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. So keep that one. Keep it. Pastor K gave you, I watched it. One to five. Hmm? I took it from six to thirteen or fourteen. Hmm? So we are, it's the same thing we are doing. So my, the next thing I'm about to do is based on this, thy children shall be taught of the Lord. Are you with me? Okay. I want to talk to you briefly on a topic I call diagnosing the causes of many spiritual rejection. What do I mean by spiritual rejection? People that think that God has abandoned them. People that think that God is no more, God doesn't love them anymore. Anyway, one day, a, one woman told me that he, he doesn't think that his husband loves her. And I asked her a question. Out of 3.5 billion women, this man went to your village, paid bright price, brought you home, kept you in his house, feeding you, buy a car, do everything. And you are still asking whether he loves you. Which kind of love again? Anyway, I understand what she said. But women, any man where any man that brings his money and maintains you. There is no other love than that. The Bible says that there is no other love that a man should, that is greater than a man should lay his life down. When a man brings out money, he's laying his life down. Especially in this nation. Money here is life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, God loves you. But I'm about to explain to you one of the, some of the reasons why certain things happen in your life at different stages and tell you how to come out of them so that the limitation can be what? Removed. Can, we hear, can I hear you say big amen? amen? Okay. Meanwhile, let me do this pass, okay? Let me do this quickly. Pastor, Raphael had prophesied this thing. You know, I, I believe God, I will stay with my note. But let me do this. Luke chapter 1, verse 5. I, I want to do something. Let me just show you something. Luke chapter 1, verse 5. Let's read it. Let me stay here. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia and his wife Abia state people don't worry it's not Abia it's not Abia state his wife was of the daughter of what and her name was what so this man was a priest the wife was a daughter of a priest so as far as they are concerned they don't have access records is there any access records here is there any ancestral cause here? 
So that one is taken away. Verse 6. And they were both righteous. So not only are they, they don't have access records. They, both of them were righteous. And their own righteousness is not before men. It's before God. They were both righteous, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. Blameless. Next verse. Read. And they had no child. Look at me. Ha! No ancestral cause. No personal sin. Walking in the ordinance, serving God faithfully. No, there is nothing wrong with them. And they had no child. Because Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. They've been believing God for a child for years. They were faithful, righteous, faithful. And they were serving God. Even that day. Oh yeah, verse 8. And it came to pass that while he executed Zachariah, while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, he was in the temple serving God, stricken in age, Faithful for years. Both him and his wife. No ancestral cause. God has testified they are blameless. But they had no child. <laughs> oh. I'm about to dismantle something in your head. Verse 9. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. Verse 8, 10. And the whole multitude of people were praying without at the time of incense. They were waiting for him to prophesy. And he was prophesying and people were getting children, families were getting their own children. He has dedicated children several times in that order. People are waiting for him to still prophesy over their own problem. Nobody's asking him, how far with your own? Yet he was faithful. Verse 11. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. Verse 12. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. Verse 13. But the one, two, Go. But the angel of the Lord said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for wait. Oh. After how many years? After how many years? So I'm about to tell you something. We will prophesy to you, mountain will move. But before any mountain moves in your life, there are three things that must be in place. Take note of them. And I will talk to you about one. Number one is the purpose of God. Whatever is your heart desire, make sure it's in line with God's purpose for your life. That's one. Two is timing. When it's called Kairos moment, the time when it is appointed. Bible says, for every purpose on the earth, there is every there is time for every water. There is time for every purpose under the sun. And he mentioned a lot of them. The last one is intercession. Now watch. For this family, purpose was established. They were purposed to have children. Were they praying? The angel just confirmed that they were praying. What was missing? Time. What's the problem here? The problem is God has already ordained them that they are the one that will give birth to a child that will forerun the coming of Jesus Christ. 
It was established before the foundation of the earth. So, when they were praying, God heard their prayer. But when he goes to the calendar, the calendar is off. So, God does not answer your prayer the day you prayed. No, he doesn't answer your prayer the day you saw the answer. He answers your prayer the day you prayed. So, the moment you pray, start thanking God. Prayer has been answered. What you should have been asking him is timing. Someone say timing. That's okay. Was there no limitation last year? Was there no limitation conference last year? Was there no, was there this, is this the first one? So this is the first one. So there will be two next year and continue. But why is it that it is this time that you, you said no limitation conference? You know why? An angel has been sent. People that have been waiting. People that have been waiting. Age long mysteries is about to be dismantled here. Age long mysteries is about to be dismantled here. God called this meeting to move a lot of people into their destiny. Can I hear you say a big amen? You have prayed. You have wondered what it is. Hear in the word of the Lord. You are not here by accident. I don't care what big, how big the dream is. And I don't care how impossible it looks. The man said, my wife is stricken in age. He said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when we talk about giving birth, we are not talking about how young you are. In fact, we needed you to be old. So that your testimony can inspire the girl. We are about to tell that she's going to get pregnant without a man. You got it. 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 Did you get it? So when Mary, when Gabriel, the same Gabriel went to Mary and told Mary about getting pregnant without a man. Mary said, which can I talk with this one? He said, eh, your cousin who was called barren is now with a child. If God can do that, how much more this one? You are going to be a sign to many. You are going to be a sign to many. You are going to be a sign to many. You are going to be a sign to many. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Aha. 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 Okay. The Lord has to do one more thing. <laughs> you know, there is a lady. Anytime I come to an Anisha, I have this bottle for her. You know the person I'm talking about. I have this bottle for her. Eh? The Lord gave me a word for their kind. We call them mature sing. <laughs> mature sing. Hear the word of the Lord. If you look like others have passed you, others, other people that are in your class are not far ahead of you. Listen to me. There was a day, a man that has coat, he rears donkeys, he rears them and sells them. But here comes a particular coat that was given birth to. This man collected this coat and tied it on one post. When people that buy donkey come, they don't talk about that one. Everybody talking about that, every other donkey. They will collect and go. This donkey, he will pose. He will do makeup. Nobody is saying, shh. He will do, he will. Ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure donkey got confused. What did I do? Is it holiness that I'm not observing? Is it cleanliness that I'm is it fine that I'm not? What is it? Even people are more beautiful than they come, they collect the donkeys. My own hair is taller than their own. Yeah, they are the one that they collect. My skin is spotless. Yeah, they're the only one that collect. What is going on with me? Sister, here is the word of the Lord. <laughs> 
Gold was preserved. Has never been ridden by any man for a triumphant entry. <laughs> and that day, somehow, the owner did not know why this Oboku, that he said that we will call it. In Igbo, we call it Oboku. In our place, we call it Oboku. Oboku is a girl that has nobody is asking whether you did they marry you? I be where, where your father. We call it Nagan. You are wondering what is going on. Even the owner was wondering. But one day the owner had a dream where he was told that somebody will ask for that donkey. And when you hear the master is in need of it, release it. Don't ask questions. He said, Yes, sir. So that day Jesus was to enter the triumphant entry. He went to pray, pray, ask the father, How do I enter? The father said, there is a donkey I've preserved. It's a donkey that is a king's donkey. I have ordained that donkey for royal ride. Nobody has ridden on that donkey. I kept him for you so that you can use it to enter Jerusalem. In triumphant entry. He said, how do I get it? He said, go, send your disciples. Tell them when they get to a coat, they will see a coat that no man has written, that is tied. Untie him. If anyone asks, tell him. If the owner asks, tell him the master is in need of it. Sister, you have been on, you will soon be untied. By the time this conference ends, a mystery will start. A mystery will start. You are prepared for kingship. You are prepared to carry royalty. You are prepared to carry royalty. You are prepared to carry royalty in the name of Jesus. You know? You know? <laughs> For me, oh, have you heard my story about getting married? Hey. I, they broke, five people broke my heart. I broke four. And I married one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I tell you something? I am glad that those five people broke my heart. And I'm also very glad that I broke the four, that I broke their own. Even though I prayed until they got married, everybody settled now. But men, the donkey I collected. Hey! 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 <laughs> you know? You know, I pastored her. I was prophesying. I was prophesying over her. Tell her your husband is coming. There was one guy, I don't want to call the place, one, somewhere abroad, that was, even went through pastor. <laughs> I was prophesying. <laughs> I will tell her your husband is coming. She's my friend. My, this my wife was my friend, or she's still my friend. She used to give me advice on how to pursue other girls. We are that close. She tell me, no, no, you don't, you don't, don't dress like this. The girl, the girl will not. You see, you see, use this roll on. I will use everything. So, one day, we are going to walk. We used to go to walk together from Ojota to VI. We used to enter Pasabuchi's car. You know Pasabuchi? She was in the middle. I was by the door. So sleep was very early, 5 a.m. So sleep was catching me. So I put my head on the side of the door. It was rough. So I turned my head on the side of her shoulder. She had shoulder pad. You know, shoulder pad. Uh -huh. So the thing, you know. <laughs> I, I rested. She, so she, she did it like this. I said, Pastor why are you why are you shaking off my head? He said, why, why, why are you lying on my head? On my, I said, the, because he, he's soft. This side is hard. Just at that moment, the Holy Spirit said, they know they marry this one. I said, which one? I said, Pastor Pastor is my friend now. Huh? Okay. And I said, oh, you want to marry your enemy? Okay, it's your enemy. Your enemy you are preparing to marry. That will kill you tomorrow. I said, Lord, which one be? 
Because if he's my friend, I'm, and besides, how will I start talking? Now she didn't tell me everything now. <laughs> Anyway, while we are still talking, Pastor Abuchi pinged me. That time he's pinging. You know, Blackberry. Ping me. Pastor you, have you thought about Pasifi? Just as I, uh, you see, Holy Spirit went to the other person to, I said, I replied, my friend, mind your business. Hey, oh, the day I proposed to her, because I don't know what to tell her. I called her and said, Pasifi, there's something I want to tell you. Don't mind how I say it, because I don't know how to say it again. In short, marry me. <laughs> Someone say in short. Someone say in short. Marry me. Twelve years down the line, the in short is working. Ooh! Don't worry. See many of you that are guys that are not married. You are neglecting girls that God has trained in the house. You will be looking up and down, looking for one witch that will kill you. He says, he's, he's, he's just my friend. The, the, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. That one where you don't know, where you, that you know how, how far. That you can tell Pastor, okay, people, arrange that for me. You, somebody need to do it in short this night. Not to, no, before the end of this weekend. Go to that place you have been procrastinating. And say, just like Pastor Sue said, in short... Are we still here? The disciples went and they got there and they saw the goat just like the, the Jesus, just like the Father said, just like Jesus said. I said, There is somebody who is programming your life. You are, he said, My thoughts for you are thoughts of good, not of evil, to give you that future. That dream you have is God's plan for your life. And that expected end. And I decree, many of you in this no limitation conference will walk into that dream. You walk into that dimension. In the name of Jesus. Hey, now wow. Okay, I'm through with prophesying. Sure, I've done what I want. Sure, you're happy now. Sure, you're happy. But no, it's God that told me to do it. So He will confirm the word. Can I hear you say big amen? Okay. Now, back to business. John chapter 10, verse 10. Oh, can I get, get me water, water, please? Yes. Yes. John chapter, just keep it here. Pour it and keep it here. Thank you, sir. John chapter 10, verse 10. Right, let's read. The thief, want to go. The thief, cometh not but to, for to see and to kill and to destroy. And I'm come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. My emphasis is on have life. Say have life. And have it more abundantly. Anytime we come into Christianity as children of God, the entry point is having. Is having. Someone say having. We usually come to have. We come to receive Jesus. We come to receive the Lord. Am I correct? So usually when, we, when they preach to us, they tell us all the beautiful things that Jesus will do for us if we give, his, we give our life to Christ. Am I correct? And it's true. It's true. So let me read it the way it is here. Having is the entry desire of every born again Christian. Jesus promised that he came that we may have life and to have it more abundantly. However, someone say however. Tell your neighbor however. Christianity is also designed for Christians to grow from one level of glory to another. Are you still here? So 
2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. He said, but we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of God, glory of the Lord, want to go, are changed into the same image, from glory to, even by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you. So, you see, we are, in Christianity, we are supposed to make progress. Pastor okay, I heard him talking about yesterday, talking about the part of a righteous man shines what? And unto what? So in Christianity, you are supposed to be moving forward. You are supposed to move from one level of glory to another. You are supposed to shine brighter and brighter. Are we together? Yes, that's Proverbs 4, 18. Thank you, sir. Now, First Peter chapter 1, verse 5. We are also told in this scripture. 1 Peter chapter 5. Chapter 1, verse 5. Yes. Who kept by the power of true faith? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something is wrong. 2 Peter, sorry. 2 Peter, sorry. 2 Peter. It's 2 Peter 1, 5. Hey, well, let's read. Want to go. And beside this, giving up diligence, add. Someone say add. Someone say add. Someone say add. So, uh, Christian life is supposed to, we are supposed to be adding. We are supposed to be adding. Add to your faith. What? So, you need to add to your faith. What? Virtue. And to virtue, what? Knowledge. Let me simply explain it. If you have faith, thank God for your faith. But you have to have character. That's what he's saying there. You have to have character. Faith without character is fake. Did you get it? You can't have faith and you don't have character. You don't have virtue. That's why faith works by love. Love is virtue. Did you get it now? Good. But some people have faith and they also have virtue. They have good character. But they don't get sense. Somebody told me, eh, I, 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 when we are about to marry, you know, he, because he... he, he you know, he wanted me, we, we, we wanted to be, be honest to each other. Wanted to be open to each other. So, I, I told him how many abortions I've done. You are foolish. You are stupid. What Jesus has forgiven you? Why by the blood of Jesus? Why by his blood? You carry it and go and dump on somebody. You say he will marry you. The guy might not go rest. There's something about men. Men like their mind to be sane. For example, there's a law I have. My wife is a faithful woman. I trust her. But I, do, I trust God for her. Because she's a human being. I have a standing law. If you catch past, if you're doing something wrong, don't come and tell me. Don't come and tell me. If you come and tell me, the first punch will land on your own face. <laughs> now you are going to shoot first. <laughs> There's a way I live my life. I, I, didn't you put it. I don't look. When I'm going there now, Pastor okay, cover his book. I will respect him. There's something that is there that he knows that he's not healthy for me. I will leave it. I don't poke nose. You are in a relationship, you are checking the guy's phone. You will soon cry. <laughs> he says, seek and you shall. He says, look. Add to your good character. Sense, sense. Someone say sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Add to knowledge. Oh yeah. Temperance. So sometimes you know something. It's not yet time to reveal it. So temperance means 
even if you know how to do something, you find out when is the best time to do it. It's called self-control. Somebody say self-control. Uh-huh. Add to your knowledge. Self-control. Temperance. And then add to your temperance, patience. Why you are waiting? Why you are temperant? Be, be patient. And why you are patient? Be godly. Don't try you. Is it because you are in this church? Uh, we are. Uh, and then add to what? Add to godliness. Brotherly what? Kindness. You see? And add to brotherly kindness what? Char- love, 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 love. Let me talk about this brotherly kindness. Sir. I, I don't know why I, I have this thing about those who are getting married. But you will wear tire. Ah, there will be a time when it will be five. They, they will just be, you know the way they do it in Catholic Church. In, in, in sickness and in health, in sick, everybody will say in it. We even do combine. Combined reception is economical. You just buy one big cake after uh, you cut cake after another. You, when you finish cutting, we'll cover it. Another person come and cut. Cover it. It's called. Some people wedded during COVID 19. You know, I got some people to wed. I said, How to do it? You just snap one plate of food, send it to all the people that are supposed to come. Tell them you miss because of COVID 19. You are wedded. Before Uncle. Anyway. Did you get that one? Be nice. What it means, be nice to people. Even after the service, be nice. Those of you, don't rush out and go. Hang around. The close service, you, 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 you rush like. No, hang around. Hang around something. Hang around. Ha, ha, hang around. Find something. Hello? Married people, go home. <laughs> leave us, leave, 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 leave them alone. <laughs> Is somebody hearing me? Share that no limitation. I'm removing it too. I will stay here. But all that to say that Christian life is a journey of growth. It's a journey of what? Growth. Are we, are we together so far? All right. Thank God I have tomorrow. I'm sure I have tomorrow. Uh-huh. So anywhere we stop tonight, we fire down tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. Else. Make sure you show up here. Okay. Now. <laughs> In our typical educational system, going from one class to another signals the end of a phase in learning and the beginning of another phase am i correct so the way we know that we are we are we have we are supposed to move to the next class is that it's called promotion exam am i correct so you go get a six you go get a five you go on six you go get a six you go if i go my common entrance by your cousin you enter what do you call it just one imagine me still in just one so in our former school, we do that. However, someone say however. In Christian, in Christian life, nothing formalizes our transition from one level of glory to another. Nothing. Except one thing. Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. So, like all of you are seated down here. Many of you are in class one. Some are in class two. Some are in class three. Some are in class four. And this four stage I have here, there might be more. But this four stage I want to talk to you about. Four stages of Christian growth. And the answer to the questions, the answer to the exam of stage one, if you answer the same question in stage two, will you pass if you write the answer of integrated science in biology class, will you pass? No, sir. Because the class has... Different answer. 
The same thing with Christianity. Are you still here? So Galatians chapter 4 verse 1. We call it divine timing. Somebody say divine timing. Somebody say divine timing. One, two, go. Now I say that the heir, as long as he's a different nothing from a though he be Lord of so first is when you give your life to Christ you were born a king the Bible says Jesus has made us kings and priests unto our God but he put the word we shall, someone say shall that shall is the problem you already a king but it's a king that will only reign when you grow up we are not talking about blessing you. You are already blessed. You are blessed already. The moment you gave your life to Christ, an account was opened for you. And, and only limited resources was deposited there. But the Father only allows you to withdraw as you grow. Are you still here? Verse 2. Someone say, but. But that child is under guidance. Give me old King James. Just give me old King James until I tell you to change. And let me say this. Old King James is Bible. The other ones are translators. Read the Bible first before you start translating. It's very important to... Some translators have translated people into the moon. Translators are good. But read the Bible first. Are you getting it? Pastor okay, can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's under tutors. Someone say tutors. So it's under teachers. So God puts two kind of people in your life to help you do transition. But he's under tutors. And what? Governors. Tutors teach you. Tutors teach you. But governors command you. Governors instruct you. Teachers will teach you. But governors are the ones that instruct you. And when you are instructed by governors, you are supposed to respond according to what the teacher taught you. Did you hear what I said? about <laughs> An examiner has come now. Many of you are failing woefully. You know, in class, in, in school, when the teacher is teaching you, he's plain. Am I correct? He says everything plainly. Am I correct? Are, are we together? He says everything plainly. But when the examiner comes, the examiner will start twisting the question to confuse you. The purpose of that is to know whether you know the answer. Examiners, that's the examiner's job. To make, to confuse you in such a way that if you really know the answer, no matter how they twist it, you will still get it. Am I correct? Let me give you an example of examiners. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. This is the father teaching Jesus. Am I correct? He throws him into the examiner's room. Exam room. The examiner came. Who is the examiner here? Who is the examiner here? The devil. The devil came and said, if you are the son of God, command this bread, command this stone to be turned to bread. When the father taught him, he didn't tell him you, didn't, you need to do, do anything to prove it. He simply said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well please. He didn't say you will be my beloved son if you turn bread into, turn stone into bread. Did you get it now? So Jesus said, eh, eh, this is not what I was taught. I was taught man shall not live by bread, but by the word that God had already told me I'm a son of God. I don't need to add anything to eat, my friend. Is somebody hearing me? So when a teacher is teaching you, pay attention so that when the governor comes, you will respond and that's how you get promoted. <laughs> there are one or two people, Pastor, okay, that have stopped paying their tithe. 
Mbwembwe. <laughs> They've entered eternal wilderness. And they are now, they are now using English to summarize it. My, my, my machine that I used to work just developed faults. You know, those, those boys that are repairing it, they're very criminal. They're, my machine, three machines now has broken down. I don't know what's going on. I, will go, I need to buy a new one. You can break your service and buy a new one. As the new one is on his way. He said they don't know where the driver that is bringing it went to. I got breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. How much do you pay for that? How much? Nothing. Do you know how much people pay for dialysis? To we. Right now, it's 150,000 naira per week. Per week. Per week. How many times have you we today? Times it by 150,000 naira. Times number of days you have. Times number of days. Tie some more of years you have lived in this planet. You now know how much you are owing God. You are arguing with him of tight. Are you still here? Okay, let me advance a little. Are we still here? <laughs> but it's under tutors and governors. Someone say until. Someone say until. Pass okay. This until is my problem. Hey. <laughs> until oh. For Moses, it was until 40 years has passed. <laughs> For you, until when? Somebody asks me, it means that it's only when God decides. No. What he's saying here is, until the time appointed of the father. Who cooked yam today? You cooked yam today. Let me see your hand. You cooked yam today. You cooked yam. Cut nebya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, also. You cooked yam. Stand here. What is your name? Adobe. Eh? Adobe. Adobe. <laughs> when you were cooking the yam, do you know exactly how many minutes the yam you will off the light? No, sir. But how did you know it's time to bring out the yam from the fire? Because it was ready. How did you know that? I checked it. How did you check it? With knife. He, you use knife and pierce the yam. Then the, the knife entered smoothly. Yes, sir. Am I correct? Yes, sir. If you pressed it and the yam did, oh, 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 what was your problem? <laughs> what will you do? Then it's not ready. And what will you do to eat? I will leave it. You will leave it where? To keep cooking. Where will you leave it? Fire on the You will leave it in the fire. Uh -huh. You are getting the gist now. <laughs> Adwogi, a react, yeah? Increase the fire. <laughs> My friend, what's your, what's your name? Don't you go and bring me water from there. Go and bring me water. My friend, go and bring me water. No, no. I want you to react. Which kind? Why are you commanding me? Go, go and bring me water from there. Please, go and bring water. Why are you commanding me? Oh, I'm going to order one. You increase the fire. It never done. But when you don't done, don't you Come and bring me water. Huh? <laughs> you see how you see? God resists the proud. He gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud. The proud never done. He never done. He never done. He never done. He never done. Oh, he never done. <laughs> Someone say no limitation. Until the time appointed, until the father check whether you don't done. If you show say you don't done, he go bring you. If you never done, some some people are like abubu, fio fio, sis to sis. My 
my friend, it's time to. There is a man, there's a, a preacher here in the city of Oka, in the in Onisha. He used to say, if you don't want to hear, we'll put our cow. You must. <laughs> He's right in that one. Only in that one. Hey, are you still here? Okay. So, hence, the only way heaven signals the end of a class and the beginning of another one in a believer's life is through spiritual rejection or resistance. When they reject you, they, uh, they eject you, then they elevate you. So when a class ends, what usually happens is that they will, you will move to another class. Am I correct? So you will be ejected from the previous class, from the previous teacher, from the previous assignments, from the previous class work. Am I correct? You move to a new one. If you return back to the old class, your name will not be there. And when they plan budget, they will not budget for you because you're supposed to be in the new class. Is somebody still here? Is somebody still here? Okay. Now. I discover, sir. That's also how God causes fruit to ripe. When a fruit is still in the tree and is not yet mature, you will notice that it's green and the sap will be traveling on its direction. The moment it's fully ripe, fully developed, how God causes it to ripe is that it disconnects sap from going to eat. If you notice mango, when you, when you see a mango that fell, you notice that that place where it connected has rotten. Have you noticed it? Yes, when they disconnected the sap. So when the sun rises now, the sun cooks it instead of, instead of making it to grow because it has fully grown. It is supposed to enter the next stage. So they are rejecting the fruit. You are supposed to give up so that another person can come. So when it arrives, bed is attracted to birds. It's attracted to human beings. Then human beings will fetch it, eat it, and drop it. And all of a sudden, this particular seed that used to be in a tree will now become the tree on its own. Did you get it now? Did you get it? Those of you that are more than 30 years old and you're a guy, for the ladies, I don't blame them because they're, 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 there's a way God did it. But if you're 30, 30, and you're not married, if your father waited until he was 35, will you be here? Will you be here? You are still speaking English. I'm working on together. I'm putting things together. What are you putting together? You are the, the person that is supposed to help you put things together is what you are saying when you finish putting together. You now go and bring him like TV and hang him on the wall. And those of you that are girls, you are waiting for somebody that has put things together. That's why when he marries you, he will keep you in the house and be going for He has fulfilled a, a lifelong desire. But when you add value to him, you contributed to the development. The man will value you and you value her. What am I talking about? But you got that one. Are you still here? Okay, can I move on? Can I move on? Okay. P. Now you're going 30 minutes to go, you tell me. It's already 30 minutes to go. Eh, okay. 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 <laughs> now, there are four stages of Christian development. Number one is what we call the having stage. I've already mentioned it to you. Somebody say having. Somebody say having. Or what we call receiving stage. Or babyhood stage. Or milk stage, there are different names. Pastor calls it different names. Or growing stage. 
uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Pass, please. As a newborn babes, desire the sincere make of the word that you may what? That you may what? So there is a milk word. There is the word called the milk of the word. And it's given for growth. You are supposed to drink it until you grow. But you notice that adults, the moment you grow and become an adult, there is something called lactose tolerance. Is that the word? Lactose. Is that the word? Lactose tolerance. Your lactose tolerance for milk drops. In children, it's, it, it, it's big. But when you grow and mature, your bones are now strong. They, they drop that need for milk. You need to start chewing something. You need to start swallowing something. Because your teeth has developed. But when you are still a baby, the milk, the, you can drink your mother's milk, it will not run your stomach. But when you are an adult, like you now, you now, you, if I give you milk now, you drink two things, you, you, you will start purging. Your lactose tolerance has dropped. So you are supposed to stop drinking too much milk. Not that you will not take milk, but you, not, you stop drinking too much milk. So there is a milk of the word. Someone say milk of the word. It's part of what I've been serving you since. So. Yes, it's milk. Oh. That time you are shouting. Yeah? It, and it's, it's, it's powerful. It's powerful. Hmm? But many people are there. So that's why they, they, were, they were enjoying it. Elders, there are those who have grew, outgrown that one. Some of those things I prophesy, your own will not happen. You know why? Because it takes another thing beyond milk to, grow, to, to enter your own promised land. Someone say no limitation. No limitation. Say so you want me to remove all the limitation. You want us to remove all the limitation. Yes, Do you want us to remove all the yes, limitation? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Now, let me give you an example of milk. For example, Psalm 103 from verse 1. This is example of milk message. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Milk message is filled with benefits. And I don't mind saying, when you are also weak as an adult, if, if, when somebody is sick, they return him back to milk so that he can get back. Are you seeing it? <laughs> but when you, when you finish getting back, you return back to, to, to chewing. To swallowing. So milk, we take it, everybody takes, but it's, you take it according to the quantity of your growth. Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. So it's loaded with benefits, and some of these benefits are wonderful. And like those of you that are sick, if you understand this, you will be healed now. Verse 3, see the, some of the benefits. One, two, go. Who forgiveth all thy what? Someone say all thy iniquities. Say all. Someone say all thy iniquities. Who healed all thy? Pastor told us what brought disease was sin. The moment sin is removed, there is nothing. Sickness is still doing there. Am I correct? So. The moment he forgave all your iniquities, he also healed all your diseases. And it's true. And did you notice here? He didn't say anything about, you, uh, Father, forgive me. Mm -mm. He didn't mention it here. He forgives you. Just like little baby now. Children, a child is sucking his mother's breast. He bites the nipple. Eh? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. My mother said I did that. I, I apologized before, you know. I really apologized when I grew up. <laughs> because I wondered, oh God, you really did that. Mother that is feeding you breast, he bites the nipple. Because you're angry. They bring milk for you. You, you jump, you, you use leg and jump on top of it. And be doing, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this, these children that emptied all the carton of indomie? inside 
a bathtub. How many of you have seen it? <laughs> when the mother came, what will you do? Forgive all their and heal all their. When I was small, we are playing. My mother came and said, Ju, Uje Chuku, that's my Igbo name. Uje Chuku, come, you and Ebene Chuku, come down from that fence. Come down, come down. We refused. I heard my brother, we are on top of a fence. And I shook my brother like this, like as in shook him and pull him back. So like, like I, as in play. So I didn't know that my brother was also planning to do for me. So when I turned the other side, my brother pushed me, but because he's smaller, he couldn't pull me. I fell, broke my hand. This is my right hand. And I carried it. Mommy. Mommy. He said, what is it? <laughs> she carried me to hospital. She was there sleeping day and night. She was not sleeping. It was pain was. I will cry. She will cry. Doctor, what do we do? And I bought my corner back from there. Can you know the best? My pain is her pain. When you are a child of God, you better know that God loves you so much that while you are crying, he's also crying. Why do you think that he will have your healing and he will keep it back? He, she spent, my father finally came back. My father is a contractor somewhere. Came back, joined. They spent money. I came, I came back again. After my hand has... I start going to that, 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 that fence again. Uh, they just waited for me to clock seven, eight. <laughs> they caught me where I was touched. Just trying to, I've not climbed. If, this time around, they still forgave me, but forgave me with. Uh, this time around, they added something to the forgiveness. Have you noticed why God adds something to, he forgives you, but. It's like, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Hey. Who redeemed thy life from what? Destruction. You see, he redeems your life from destruction. The moment a parent sees a child going to socket, electricity, he says, Am I can come out of there? Am I can sing it? Is that what you do? You go and grab him out of that place. And even if he's crying, you, you... Many of you, that's what God is doing to you when you are tired. But when you grow up, and still go there and be doing... Uh, uh. That's what fits you. That's how they say it. Mm. But here, he redeems your life from what? Destruction. Ah, that's okay. I just heard something. There's somebody here. He drives so much rough. So much rough. That even three days ago. Is it three days? When did this program start? Yesterday. No, Tuesday. 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 Tuesday is three days ago. Tuesday. You, you almost caved into something. Hear the word of the Lord. You are now an adult. Caution yourself. Be pleading the blood. Why you are irresponsible? Say blood, 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 blood. Slow down on your speed. Daniel, New, New Testament Daniel. He said he opens the, 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 the lion's den and walks inside. The lion eats him. And they are saying, but he exercised faith. No, you didn't read your Bible well. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. You walked into the lion's den. There are two different things. So stop walking into traps and say, God, protect you. You are tempting God. That's why Jesus said to, said to Satan, he said, throw yourself down for it is written. Angels will, will hold you. He said, no. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Stop tempting God. I'm talking to somebody. You know what I'm talking about. 
A word is enough for the wise. Someone say no limitation. Because if you continue, there will be limitation in your two legs. So, right now, you better remove that limitation before you show up. Can I hear you say big amen? Mm-hmm. Who redeemed thy life from destruction? Who crowned thee with what? Loving kindness. And what? How many of you, you were a part of buying goat or cow for your family during Christmas last year? You were involved. Let me see your hand. You went to buy goat, buy, buy cow for your family. With a chop cow here now. Who bought cow? Pastors, is there anybody that bought cow recently? Or is there anybody? I want somebody's hand. See, as they're looking at me. You have never eaten cow. Okay, now, come, come. Come. Watch, watch. Now, for those of you that are sick, take note. Watch, come. The moment you took the cow from Aboki yeah. and he got home, whose responsibility is to feed the cow before you kill it? I'm the one. If the cow was sick before he's supposed to be killed, what would you do? Um, I have to, to No, I have to slaughter it by myself. Eh? I would slaughter it if he's sick. It. Yeah. No, I'm talking about before you. It's, it's something for maybe burial, and the burial has not come. And he's, he's sick. What will you do? Um, I have to take it back. No, you go and find people. That, there are veterinary doctors that will treat it. Yeah. Whose responsibility is it? Yeah. Because you now bought it. Yeah. It's now your responsibility to feed it, cure it when he's sick. Yeah. Am I correct? Yeah. Eh? Yes, Jesus purchased you. And it's his responsibility to feed you. It's his responsibility to heal you. You don't need to beg him. He redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. You better believe it. Except you run away from his... If you run away from... If the sheep runs away from the fold, the goat, what will you do? You start looking for him. But before you find him, if he breaks his leg... Sure, he will treat himself. Of course. You know, there's this song we sing. He lives in 99. Eh? Uh, thank you. Sing it again. 99. Oh, mama. You're always on time. time. You, know. you can do no wrong. always the one they are looking for. Why can't you join in the 99? If all the 99 go, what, what, how would they find you? The 99, oh no, the 99 were come and stayed in the fold. That's why they were able to be left somewhere to come and find you. Don't worry, go again. Amen. Okay. Yes. Give me my scripture. Give me my scripture now. Okay. Who satisfied thy mouth with what? You see? So that your youth is renewed like the fast. Let's go on. Yes. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that were what? So he executes righteousness. And judgment for those that are oppressed. Yes? He made known his ways unto Moses and his acts unto the children of Israel. Yes? The Lord is what? And slow to and plenteous in I prophesy that to you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will be slow to anger towards you. The Lord will be plenteous in mercy towards you in the name of Jesus. Yes? He will not always chide. Chide is rebook. Neither will he keep his anger for He has not dealt with us after our nor rewarded us according to our 
verse 12. For as the heaven is higher above the earth, Pastor K. Professor said it this today or yesterday. So great is his mercy towards us that fear him. Verse 12. One, two, go. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he what? Removed our transgression. That's God for you, my friend. That's God for you. God is not wicked from us. Verse 13. One, two, go. Like as a father pitied his children, so the Lord pitied them that fear him. Verse, for he knoweth our, he remembered that we are, for as for a man. Okay, that's where I stop. Amen? That's where I stop for that scripture. I still have five minutes. Amen. Okay. Did you get that one? Hmm. An example is Elisha. You know, Elisha prophesied no rain, but the thing affected him. So the first phase of Elisha's sustainability is milk. God sent him to a brook called Chariot to go there. And every morning and evening, a raven will come and bring meat to him. Hello? Hello? And Elijah was enjoying. And many of you have been enjoying. You have been enjoying. And you, some of you will start enjoying. Ravenous bed will locate you in the name of Jesus. It will bring meat from the king's palace in the name of Jesus for you. Supernatural, supernatural provision will come your way in the name of Jesus. Supernatural favor will locate you in the name of Jesus. But for those of you that has enjoyed what I just prophesied. But you notice that the brook has dried up. Or got relocated. <laughs> if you stay there, hunger will kill you. You know why? God has another plan. It's called plan B. You have finished class one. It's time to go to class two. Did you hear me? So for those of you that used to, God used to, I, I, the moment I pray, just I, before it's coming out of my mouth, God has already I even think it, only thinking, only thinking. And God answers me. But now I don't know what is going on. What is going on is that for Elijah, God said, Brook has dried up. I'm sending you to a widow called Zarephath. I have commanded her to feed you. When Elijah got there, Elijah found out that the woman that God told him to feed him, the woman is about to die. So your next level is to go and use the anointing you got from your milk to go and help another person so that two of you can now sustain. If you don't use that anointing, you will die, in, you, you see, you will not die in Jesus' name. So pastor, okay, many people's limitation is that God has anointed them, gifted them, but they are still waiting for manna. They are still waiting for man. Responsibility. They are still, they say, oh Lord, I call it forth. I call it forth. I believe. As I walk out, let the money drop on the floor as I pick it. Which your own should drop so that another person will pick it. So, if you notice that the brook has dried, if you notice that the manna has ceased, hmm? If you notice any of these symptoms in your life that you used to enjoy, but now you don't see it again. See me tomorrow morning and I will show you how to get out of it. Are you still here? okay. Let me just talk about the irony of this stage. The irony of this stage is that <laughs> new believers that you get birth, you, 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 you want to Christ, they will come to church. Two of you will pray. Pastor will prophesy. Tomorrow they are testifying. You are wondering what is going on. You yourself will even call forth for them. They will receive. You call for for yourself. 
it doesn't work. Are you still here? Are you still here? Are you still here? You will call forth cars for others. They will get car. Yet you are trekking and following them. <laughs> Say, but this, this, this man that, that used to be in Oboni, that just came to church, just got born again. All of a sudden, his business boom. What is me that has been here? Yes, there was a time God also, it was happening to me. Olga, your class has changed. Your class has changed. What is that next class? What is that next class? It's the age of responsibility. We call it the doing stage. The doing stage. I don't have time otherwise. But let me warn you. Let me warn you. James chapter 4 verse 1. That's how I closed. Somebody come and carry this thing. So I don't see another one. Yes. Yes. Carry. Thank you very much. You can point here. All of a sudden, sir, these people that have benefited from church, they've, God has blessed them for too long, but they have refused to transit. Guess what's happening? They start fighting. They say, they pray, Pastor K okay, called this person. He called that person. And he didn't call me. I know when he used to call me. The moment he speaks a word, it happens. The reason why we are not calling you again is that you are supposed to be calling others and be praying for them. From whence comes wars and fighters among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust. So now, the problem is now lost, not having. In your members, verse 2, fast please. You lost and have. You lost and have. You lost and have. You kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. You fight and war and yet have not because you ask not. So here you start asking. You need to start asking. When baby is small, you feed him whether he asks or not. You, there is a time when he is fed. Am I correct? But when a, a child is has grown up, you, even when you are hungry, you talk. Say we should know that you are hungry. Which one be we should know that you are hungry? Verse 3. Ye ask and receive not. Even those that ask and receive not. Because you ask ah, you. So you need to learn how to ask. That you may consume it upon your lust. So the problem is you are still asking so you can go and consume it on your lust. Not on God's purpose. Not on, on your destiny. Verse 4. He calls them idolaters. So if you don't transit, you become an idolater. Adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that friendship with the world is a enmity with God. So they start comparing. You see, somebody will say, ah, Is that going to happen again? Is he praying in tongues? That, that's what produced such people. Is, is China, is China praying? Is Japan a Christian nation? Woo! It's people that God has said move and they have refused to move. Whosoever therefore will be a friend, friend of the world is an enemy of what? An enemy of God. Verse 5. Do you think that God's scripture said, verse 6, I don't have time for this. Yes. But he giveth grace to the humble. Great grace. Wherefore he said, God resists what? The proud. But giveth grace to the humble. Move. Move. If you refuse to move, he will resist you. Verse 7. One, two, go. Submit yourself therefore to God and resist devil and devil will flee. So the moment you cooperate with God, Satan will not have answer. So it's not about demon. It's about humbling yourself. Is somebody hearing me? Matthew 6, I'm closing. Matthew 6, 24. Past. One, two, go. No man can serve two masters at a time. For either he hates one and love the other. One, two, go. Fast, fast, fast. Or else, no, 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 no. Or else he will hold on to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. 
The problem now is that when you refuse to go, God now knows that you are now lost in after that thing he used to give you. You have, you have left the giver. You are now pursuing the gift. Verse, verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for what you want. You know, all of that. For God knows that you have need of these things. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Behold, one, two, go. Read it. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bank. Yet, yet, your heavenly father. Now, but I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm, I'm almost through. The problem I have with this scripture is, he said, see birds of the air. They don't walk. They don't spin. Yet, yo. He didn't say, dear. He said, yo. Your own father feeds them. Your own feeds them. Your heavenly father is feeding all the birds. Have you ever seen a bird that is saying, Tinibu, hey, Tinibu. Tinibu, hey, Tinibu. Tinibu, hey, oh. He's, he asks him, hey, but what is the problem? Why are you so machetated? Oh, this economy is bad. This economy. Have you ever seen any mango that is, he said, what is the problem? He said, the, the, the economy is so bad. Whatever makes bed stay afloat, whatever makes mango grow, is what sustains me and you. It's not economy. It's not economy. It's the same father that feeds the best of the air, that makes sure that they don't lack. It's the same father that feeds us. You are here talking about Tinibu, increase well or no increase well. My friend, humble yourself and you see your God. So your heavenly father feeds them. Yo, 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 yo. One illustration. Okay, come. I need a po- is there any politician here? Politician, politician. Any politician? Are you a politician? Well, I see that I want a politician. And as I'm talking, you need to come because it's a prophetic word. A politician. Is there any politician here? Oh, yeah, come fast. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, come. You look like a mopo. Come. You look like a mopo. Come. Look at, you know, how does politicians command their mobile police? Oh yeah, command them to move. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so, instruct them to do something. Instruct them to do something. Instruct them. Instruct them. Yes. Instruct the other one. Instruct the other one. <clears throat> Give it. <clears throat> you see, when mopos follow politicians that are in office, the mopos serve the politician. Am I correct? Am I correct? Okay, thank you. But wait, let's hope all of a sudden you are out of office, but you are now, we found out that you ate money. You are now EFCC net. And the same Mopo, <laughs> Oya, Oya, this is now a prisoner. How do you handle him? Can he command you now? Oya, 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 Oya. Grab him, move him, move him, move. Now, Oya, be telling him what to do. Did you notice what's going on? Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Did you get the illustration? Now, listen, that's how I end. When the politician was in power, obeying the constitution, the Mopos were following him and obeying his instruction. God wants you to have money. He doesn't want you to money to have you. He wants you to control money, not money controlling you. But you notice when he, he is now a slave to money. Money is now what is telling him what to do. He is now a prisoner. So there are many millionaires that are prisoners of money. They don't have money. Money have them. So have you seen? They kill for money. They cheat for money. They steal for money. But the one that God has blessed, money serves him. Money answers to him. How many of you want money to answer to you? How many of you want money to answer to you? May God Almighty put it on your life. Cause you to begin to rule money and not money rule you. In the name of Jesus Christ. See you tomorrow. You will be blessed. God bless you.